Well, a good Sunday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is our tropical update. What we have focused just for the YouTube audience. We're glad you're able to find us as always. If you're not subscribed to the Fox 26 channel, you're welcome to do so. There's other things on here besides tropical, although this is going to be your best bet most of the time and we're very consistent. We're here every day of hurricane season a little bit after 4 p.m. in the afternoon, bringing the latest on what's happening in the tropics. Normally we're very focused, of course, on the Atlantic basin, but when we feel that it's an interest and necessary, we're over talking about the Eastern Pacific or really anywhere in the Pacific as well. And today we'll be doing some of that in addition to an update on the Atlantic because the Atlantic update won't take that long. There's one spot of concern that we're watching and it is way out on the coast of Africa. Uh, it is still a tropical wave that has just moved off of the coast. And it does look like it is favored to become a tropical cyclone. So in the next four to five days, maybe even three days, we could see our, our next either tropical depression or possibly even a tropical storm. You'll see the red shading here indicating where that area of development is. But I want to stress that this is way out in the Atlantic. This is just off of the coast of Africa and you can see the United States way uh, out of the picture almost. So it'll take some time for that to happen, but we'll probably be able to add another number to the count as far as what's happening in the Atlantic Basin. Switching gears now, let's get over to the Pacific. This is Lydia and we're going to talk about Lydia for uh, a couple of reasons. First of all, I know there's got to be some folks in Mexico who are checking in here on YouTube. We've got people from all over the globe and as I've talked about, I always encourage you uh, to connect with me and kind of just check in. Let me know where you are uh, in our uh, in our globe in the world uh, to be able to sort of see our YouTube updates. This looks like Lydia is going to quickly become a hurricane. And so right now still a tropical storm. Our 4 p.m. update has max winds at 70 miles an hour. But then our next update is expected to bring that up to a hurricane strength. So as early as even 10 o'clock this evening, perhaps. But for sure, I think tomorrow morning we'll be dealing with Hurricane Lydia at this point and continue to track. We're beginning to see some watches and warnings go up along the west coast of Mexico as this is expected to make a land uh, begin to make a landfall. And this is going to be uh, potentially again uh, a hurricane, a category one hurricane when it does make its landfall. Notice this area that of disturbed weather a little bit further down uh, south also uh, of Mexico and uh, to the south uh, east of where Lydia is. This is a tropical depression 16, so we're going to be able to talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. When we add on those watches, this is uh, tropical storm watches in the blue here. That is because of tropical uh, depression 16. And then here we have the hurricane watches that are in place and the tropical storm warnings as well. The watches in place because of what Lydia is doing. So this is the area that I'm talking about where we're kind of looking at that disturbed weather and it kind of just creates somewhat of a mess happening over in the eastern Pacific and it's kicking up a whole lot of moisture kind of popping it up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It's also, of course, bringing a lot of rain down to the surface. So this is expected to make a landfall as a tropical storm. Lydia expected, which is currently a tropical storm, expected to make a landfall as a hurricane. All again, all this churning happening and in the upper levels of the atmosphere, our jet stream is pulling uh, all this moisture across Mexico and into the southern uh, Gulf Coast. That includes Texas and then our other coastal states on over. So we're here in Houston in the Gulf Coast, certainly. Uh, so we're going to talk about a little bit of that. I know some of you who maybe are, if you're in Bermuda and you're watching, maybe a little bit less interested in what's happening here. But we'd like to sort of, again, keep everybody updated. This moisture is going to put rain in the forecast for us here in, in Houston. And all, again, all of this mess that's happening uh, in the eastern Pacific it just pumping that moisture up and over and impacting us just a little bit. Hey, I talked about connecting. I just want you to know I'm on just about all the social media that's out there, but Instagram is the one that I'm a little bit more interactive on. So I always encourage you folks here on YouTube to look me up on Instagram. I'm at John Dawson Fox 26 and also if you're on YouTube already, if you look meteorologist John Dawson, that's the easiest way to find me on YouTube is meteorologist John Dawson, Instagram at John Dawson Fox 26. 
I'll probably message you back or uh, look at what you've got, maybe like a post or two. I, like I said, I'm much more interactive on Instagram when I get the chance. So hope you have an opportunity uh, to look me up there. That'll do it for Sunday afternoon tropical update. Remember, we'll be back again tomorrow afternoon with another update.